Hi everyone, Linda from Let's Talk Prepping. And I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in Germany now. And this is from Zero Hedge, and it's today's date, July 9th. Social peace is in great danger. Germany is quietly shutting down as energy crunch paralyzes economy. Earlier today, we wrote that Germany's largest landlord, Vinovia, has taken the unprecedented step of restricting heating at night a terrifying preview of what lies in stock from the most advanced European nation this winter. It's going to get worse, much worse. Now you're saying, well, you live in the United States. What's Germany have to do with us? Well, if it's happening over there, it could very easily happen here. And even though they're rationing their gas and their oil because they can't get it from Russia, over here, the gas, the oil, is just going to be so expensive, we might have to ration ourselves. And it says, Germany is now rationing hot water, dimming its streetlights, and shutting down swimming pools as the impact of its energy crunch begins to spread. And the reason behind this paralysis is the huge increase in gas prices triggered by Russia's move last month to sharply reduce supplies to Germany. And it has plunged Europe's biggest economy into the worst energy crisis since the oil price shock of 1973. With electricity hitting never before seen levels, gas importers and utilities are fighting for survival, while customer bills are going through the roof, with some warning of rising friction, and not to mention the infamous wheelbarrows full of cash. I know right now our gas prices are going down a little bit, but what's going to happen over winter when the demand is so much higher? Are our prices going to be so high that we're going to have problems getting and paying for oil. On Monday, as we reported last week, Russia is shutting down its main pipeline to Germany for 10 days of scheduled maintenance. Many in Berlin fear it will never reopen. And if the scheduled maintenance needs, if they find they need some part, you know with the supply chain issues, they just gonna blame Oh, we can't reopen now because we need this part. And with the supply chain, we can't get it. And the bank warns if the gas shutoff is not resolved in the coming weeks, could lead to much higher inflation. So anticipating the worst case outcome, Germany last month took a crucial step towards rationing gas when Economy Minister Robert Habeck activated the second stage of the country's gas and emergency plan. So he appealed to the population to save energy. And the largest residential landlord said it's lowering the temperature of its tenants' gas central heating to 17 degrees Celsius between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. And that, I believe, is either... It's so about 62 degrees Fahrenheit. It said the measure would save 8% in heating costs. A housing association went a step further this week saying they're rationing the supply of hot water to tenants. So you can only take a hot shower between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m., 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., or 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. Because they have to save for the winter. Towns and whole of society must now cut down on its energy consumption, saving in summer so we have warm flats in winter. Every kilowatt hour we save helps to fill the gas storage a bit more. So what they're doing also, they want to turn off traffic lights at night, shut off hot water in council buildings, museums and sports centers, adjust air conditioners, stop illuminating historic buildings. And here's a school that has cut off hot water in 86 schools and 60 gyms. 
and then they've closed the swimming pool and in western germany they're dimming the street lighting to say to 70 percent of full strength from 11 p.m residential customers are also taking action reactivating wood burning stoves and fireplaces now i read somewhere else that you can't even buy a wood burning stove now they're all sold out a year waiting list so if you think that we're going to have any kind of an energy crisis and we probably are or we're going to have rolling blackouts or just the grid down you should probably if you're thinking of a wood burning stove get it now in the u.s too sales of firewood wood pellets and coal as well as of gas canisters and cartridges have shot up it's unclear how far such measures will soften the impact of higher heating bills which will be through the roof the war has pushed up energy prices for consumers between 71 percent and 200 percent so that's an additional annual cost of between a thousand euros and 2700 euros for a one-person household up to 3800 for four people compared to 2021 levels and costs could increase even more if the new law that goes through goes through the german parliament it would allow governments to impose an emergency levy on all gas customers to spread the cost of higher prices more evenly. So that's what's happening in Germany. And for those of you who say, oh, nothing like that can happen here, I want you to know it can happen here. And right now, many people are trying to decide between buying food and buying gasoline. So think what's going to happen if you heat with heating oil if you have oil heat, you're going to have to decide between heating your house in the winter or buying food. And I did want to go right over here to uh, Yahoo, and I just put in the search, Germany shutting off hot water. And I want you to look through here and see that this is, so many people say you go to places like Zero Hedge, that's not mainstream media, how do we know if it's true or not? Um, I haven't heard it on the news, so it can't be true. Well, look here. This is a business insider on MSN.com. Germany starts rationing hot water and turning down the heat. Uh, here's Fortune, Fortune magazine. Uh, the situation is more than dramatic. Market Watch on MSN. German regulator warns of possible gas shortage. Hamburger May, Ration Hot Water, Business Insider. So it's on the mainstream media too. It's not just something that the preppers are talking about. And I think you should pay attention just because all of these things that are happening in Europe could and may happen here. So think about it. Think about what you would have to do if it did happen here, how you can prepare now, because you have a warning. You have some time. And if you really think that anything like this could happen over here, please decide how you're going to stay warm this winter. So thanks for watching. Please comment down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed.